Let's see how you can build a custom Swagger API on Umbraco 14 and even integrate it with the back office. Here I have a website project open with Umbraco already installed. So first we want to create a new controller. So let's call it time controller. I've cheated from home and brought my own controller, so let's paste it in. The controller is marked as an API controller. It has a route and it contains a single action called get now. Let's see how that looks like in the browser. This is the Swagger UI. We have the default collection open, which uh, has also discovered the controller. There's the documentation for our action and it works. We get the timeout when we click execute. Clicking the link at the top takes us to the raw JSON schema. This is what our open API definition looks like, which we will use to generate a client later on. Now let's go to the client folder and into the package JSON file where I have installed an open API generator called Hey API Open API, and I've set up a script that will generate a TypeScript client based on the open API schema we just saw before. I have already run the generation, and this is what it looks like. I get a TypeScript file out containing a method that can call the endpoint I have set up in the controller. I've also set up a single extension with a dashboard. Let's see how that looks like. So this is the lit element and if we go to the browser it looks like this and it can show a notification. All right. Let's go back to the code for a minute and let's try and get it to call the endpoint we just made. So in order to do that I need to um, add a variable that would contain the output of uh, the time controller, which is the server time, and I'm marking it as a state, which means that it's reactive in lit. Um, we need to add it to the render method. It will be a paragraph tag, uh, simply displaying the time, and then in my unclick callback, which is bound to the button already, I will import the function that the generator has called get API v1 time now and I'll save it to the server time property that I've declared further up in the file. We also need to, because this is an async callback, we need to let lib know that there's been an update to one of the properties. We can do that by requesting an update. Let's try and build the solution. So we get the latest files in the browser. There we go. And back to the browser. You should now see the time being shown in the dashboard. There are, of course, many more things you can do with Swagger controllers in Umbraco. If you go to docs.umbraco.com, you can find a tutorial on how to extend uh, controllers further on. For instance, you would be able to borrow uh, authentication from the back office. You might even want to declare your own API uh, with your own name, and so you can have controllers coming in from multiple places. Thank you so much for watching.